It's common to load product usage data into a data warehouse to analyze usage patterns, user behavior, and create user segments for marketing campaigns. You can use Workato to move data from various sources, like databases, files, event logs, and other third-party applications like Mixpanel into Snowflake. Now let's see how we can take these various sources of product usage data and move them into Snowflake. This requires a multi-step process. Step one, move your data from your source applications to a cloud storage solution like Amazon S3. S3 acts as a centralized repository of raw data collected from various sources and can also act as backup storage. Step two, use native connectivity between Amazon S3 and Snowflake to move large volumes of data, often tens or hundreds of millions of transactions, from our files to a staging table in Snowflake. This step doesn't apply any transformations like data manipulation when moving the data from S3 to Snowflake. Step three, load the final production tables in Snowflake after applying transformations to the data in the staging tables. We can use Snowflake's high performance engine to apply transformations with SQL queries. In this demo, we'll show you steps two and three, and also how you can notify teams in real time about the status of this process. Now, before we get started with the recipe proper, let's take a quick look at the dataset. I've called it dashboardusage.csv. It's about 20 gigabytes or 400 million rows. I have event IDs, timestamps, event types, and customer names. I've uploaded this into S3 under my product usage analytics bucket under my CSVs directory. Next up, this is the database that I've set up inside of Snowflake. There are two tables that we'll be concerned with. One's called dashboard usage prod or production, and one's called dashboard usage staging. They have the same column names. You'll recognize them from the data set that we just looked at. And the final thing inside of Snowflake that I want to get set up is something called stages. If you've never used this before, that's fine. It's just something that'll make it a lot easier for us to transfer data natively from S3 into Snowflake. The stage I've created is called Product Analytics Demo, and I've linked it to the S3 bucket and directory that I've already set up. To create one, you just click Create, fill in all of these fields, and then click Finish. And that's about it. Finally, we have a Slack workspace with a new channel that I've called Bulk Load Status, and we'll use this for notifications at the end of the automation. And that's about it for the setup. Let's move on to building the recipe. So here we are in Workato. I'm going to click Create a New Recipe. What kicks off our workflow? Well, we're starting with Amazon S3. So I just type in S3, and I want to trigger off of a new file. We'll click Next. At this point, we'll create a new connection if we don't already have one, create a connection name that makes sense to us, and use an authorization type that makes sense in our situation. I already have an access key, so I'll just put in the key ID, secret access key, and a region, and then I'll click link to account. Since I've already set this up for myself, I'll just click the existing connection. Moving on to setting up the trigger, Workato needs to know which region this is in so that it can start pulling up some of the information from S3. So after I filled in US East 1, I choose my bucket, which I've called Product Usage Analytics, and then an optional folder path. And that's it for setting up the trigger. And what should our recipe do? Well, I want all of this to go into Snowflake, so I'll type in Snowflake. And then I'm going to choose the bulk load data to a table from an Amazon S3 bucket action. Click Next. Again, setting up a new account. So create a new connection, choose a name that makes sense for you, and your account name will be in your domain name. So you can just copy and paste that down here. Choose your warehouse, database name, username and password, and click link your account. Again, I've already set this up, so I'll just choose my existing connection, and then click Next. So let's choose our table. Remember the first one that I want is the staging table. We'll move it into production later. And we've already created a stage earlier that I've called product analytics demo. If we click finish, this will set up the recipe for us. And if we wanted to, we could test the recipe now. 
but I want to show you a couple more actions that we can add. So for now, I'm just going to close this. At this point, what the recipe is doing is moving the data from S3 into Snowflake into the staging table. But I want to apply some transformations to the data. So I'll add a new action. Click Add a new simple action. Choose Snowflake. And this time, I'm going to run a custom SQL query. This allows us to run any SQL query we want, just like how we do it inside of Snowflake. And let's say what I'm trying to accomplish is to make all of my customer names uppercase. So I just take this SQL query that I would have run inside of Snowflake, and I put it inside of Workato. Come back here and paste it. And this should set all of my customer names to uppercase within the staging table. And then at the end, once all of this is uppercase, I want to move this data into the production table. So to do that, we can just use another SQL query. I could either add that underneath this one, or I could create another action to keep track of it separately. And that's what I'm going to do. Come up here to the side, and just click Clone Step. And under this second SQL query box, I'm going to put in a different query. This one's just a merge statement, which moves everything from staging into production. So I'll copy and paste that. And before I click Test, I want to add one more action here, which is to send a notification to my team in Slack. To do that, I just click New Simple Action, type in Slack, and click Post Message. To link your account, just click here, add a new connection, type in the name for your connection, and when you click Link Your Account, it'll ask you to log into Slack. Since I've already set this up under a different connection, I'll just click Cancel and use one of my existing accounts. Workato automatically pulls up your channel names, so you can just select it from the dropdown, and then we'll fill in some of the details about the message that we want to send. I'll say successfully loaded data, and I'll put in a title and a title link. In this case, I'll probably just put a link directly to the file. I'm going to cheat a little bit and use the link that's here. Copy and paste that. This gives me a sense of what the structure of the link looks like, so I can just copy everything all the way up until here and use the object name that Workato brings up for us. To do that, on the right side of the screen, under App Data, I just scroll up to the trigger output and click Object Name. In this case, it'll come up something like CSVs slash the name of the file. So when we run the recipe, this will actually end up being the full link to the file in S3. We'll copy and paste that from here into here. And under Attachment Text, we can do anything that makes sense to us. So here I'll just type in rows loaded just to show you what you can do. And we can get that from the bulk load data action. Just real briefly, I'll also choose a color just to make it a little bit more pretty. And that actually does it for the recipe. Let me just scroll up here, close this, and you can see what the whole recipe does. It triggers from a new file in S3, bulk loads the data into Snowflake, we run a couple of queries, and then send a message to our team in Slack once the whole automation is done running. To test it with a single file, all we have to do is click Test Recipe. And just like that, we've created the new automation. To see what it's doing, all you have to do is just click the running job. You can see that it's pending, so we'll take a quick break and come right back. And we're back. I noticed a new Slack message, so let's just see what that says. That looks perfect to me. So we have a link to the data that was uploaded, and it tells us that it's uploaded about 300 million rows. Let's verify that on Snowflake. So if I just refresh this, I should be able to see that my production data has been uploaded. So not only has all the data been uploaded to production, it's also been transformed so that all my customer names are uppercase. Lastly, we'll go back to Workato and refresh that job report I was looking at. And this allows us to get a more granular sense of what Workato's done for us. It triggered from this file, it did all of these actions, and we can even examine how long each one of these actions took. And now that this workflow is complete, we can start creating analytics reports from the data that we've uploaded into Snowflake. Our Workato recipe can now upload records into Snowflake from S3, perform transformations with SQL queries, and send notifications to our team in Slack. To see what else you can do with Workato, check out youtube.com slash Workato.